Hey there, my peeps. Grammy T from Grammy T Knows. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you three options that you can choose from to retouch your own images for your touch points or your advertise, whatever your advertisements are. I want to show you because this channel is for the small and new business owners who do not have the budget to hire the professionals to do this type of work. Now it won't be high level magazine type of uh, retouching, but it will be retouching that will improve your images and make them aesthetically pleasing to your audience. So let's get started. So the first option is generative fill, which is in Photoshop beta. And yes, it's still in the beta format. However, Photoshop will be releasing it at some point and hopefully sooner than later. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is click on here to open up the file. Find your file. Click on the image that you want to work on and click open. And by the way, I learned this method from PS Desire. Uh, he always has really nice tips and tricks on his channel. And of course, whenever I learn something that I believe can enhance my new and small business peeps, I want to pass it on to you. So next, we're going to access our quick mask button. Click on that, then come up to edit, come down to fill. And you want to make sure you're on color and then come over here make sure this is your your um your gray percentage is 30 percent so then you would click ok and make sure it's on 30 sometimes it's not going to necessarily be there so then you would click ok click ok here and now you want to turn that mask off and you're going to come down to generative fill and you're going to type these prompts skin smoothing comma space then skin lighting comma space and the last prompt will be skin toning and then you're going to generate and let's see what this option gives you so this is your first option and here is your second option, but it's kind of changing how she's looking, which is quite interesting. And here is your third option, which is, um, which has affected her features even more. So this is what happens when you use generative fill for retouching. I'm going to reopen the original image so that I can show you how to use the neural filter method. So you go up to filter, you come right here to neural filters, and then you come over here to skin smoothing. Make sure the bounding box is on her. And you already see it's already begun to do the work. So if you want more intensity, you just move your blur over more and your smoothness over more. Once I'm done, I'm going to choose new layer and then OK, because that's going to give me the option to edit this. So if the adjustments I made are too intense, I can always lower the opacity. We're going to open the original file again, and this option will be Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo is created by Skylum Software. It's a plugin that you can use in Photoshop. If you're interested in purchasing it, I posted a link in the comment section below. So now create a new layer by dragging the background layer down to the new layer icon. Come up to Filter, Skylum Software, and then Luminar Neo. Click on Edit and Come down to face and you can lighten the face if you want to and we don't want a slimmer face so we're gonna go to the eyes eye flare uh, you can enlarge the eyes but I don't usually use that one you can whiten the eyes maybe just a little bit you can enhance her eyes look at that 
much you can improve her eyebrows. You can add saturation to her lips. Add a little color to her lips if you want to. And if she had her teeth were showing, you could whiten her teeth. Then we're going to come down to the skin. And here you can choose the amount that you want. See how that's beginning to soften her skin? Then there's the shine removal. If she had shine, well, she has a little bit which is not really a problem. Then for defects, you click right there. And then you just click apply. And here are the final images. You can choose which is the best for you. I personally think that the neural filter did the best job of cleaning up the image. However, you get to choose based on what best fits your needs for your company. And as always, I hope this video has been beneficial to you. And if it has been, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.